What makes the blog post bad? There are lots of reasons why a blog post could be less than perfect. Poor formatting, poor grammar, poor word choice, poor flow, or your blog post could be a massive block of text. When you get a blog post idea in your head, it's tempting to sit down and start banning on the keyboard right away. But that would be a mistake. Luckily, you have a simple solution. Before diving headfirst into writing your post, you should create an outline. Hello, I'm Gennady Batrakov from Blagley. And for me, the key to creating a great piece of content is in creating good outline for what I'm about to do first. I'm going to show you this outlining process that can be done effectively using Blagley. Before we review how it's being done, let me talk briefly about why is creating outline is so important to the quality of end product. Writing requires you to come up with a sophisticated, complex, sometimes very creative ways of structuring your ideas. Taking time to draft an outline can help you to determine whether your thoughts connect to each other, what orders they work best and what gaps you may have in your thinking. It is basically about the structure and the clarity of communication. Boring content is usually a result of lack of structure and lack of clarity. So before you start creating the content, you need to make sure that you have a good outline and structure in your mind. The outline helps you to stay organized and focused throughout the writing process. But the outline should be viewed as a guide, not as a straitjacket. You must be able to adjust your outline quickly and use it as a boundaries for your message. Think of your outline as a skeleton, a tool for delivery of your message. It will serve as a backbone of your writing, providing you with a solid structure on which you build your message. However, it's your job to flesh out and enrich it. Use your creative flair to make a bare bones more appealing and accessible to your audience. I'm going to show you how to use Blogly to create an outline of your main points and also to be able to recognize and move them around. One of the advantages of Blogly approach to the outline it's in its flexibility. It allows you to quickly move the complete blocks around and drag and drop them in order that makes sense. If you find a better way to deliver your message, go back and easily recognize stuff. If you're writing in Google Doc or Word file, you can do that too, but it's inefficient. Being able to make these kinds of quick and easy adjustments with the blocks of content is why the approach in organization makes such a big difference in the quality of the content you produce. Just remember, disorganized outline means disorganized writing. So now we are ready to review how to do this using Blagley. Let's start with uh, creating a new article. On the left side, one quarter of the screen is reserved for the outline. Let's create the first block and name it Introduction. It opens a block in the full rich text editing mode. As we should complete the outline first, we need to return it to the base of the article and continue with outlining process. I create another block, give it a name, and so on. First iteration of the outline does not have to be perfect. You will adjust or expand it later during your writing. Outline Blackly consists of blocks. Blocks are like paragraphs or chapters. They contain blocks of text with the multimedia related to its subheaders and the independent sections of your article. So, we have completed a simple outline, hitting the main points. Typically, the last block would be something like conclusion or final thoughts, or whatever you usually use to finish the article. For the side note, you optimize the article, you should always include your primary keyword in your title. The title of the blog is H1 heading format. By default, all blog names in Blogly are the H2 headings. Here you go, your first outline draft. Now you can start populating it with the content. While I was putting it together, I was thinking, what are the main points I want to hit and what are the priorities? How do I put this together and make it a really effective blog post? One of the great things about the blog list approach, it makes it so easy to add, remove or recognize blocks of the outline. 
Here you go. Each block holds the complex and substantial piece of content, and yet they are independent, flexible entities within the article. My outline helps me see the structure that the content is going to have as I am writing it. I can dedicate some blocks to my notes that are visible in outline but not visible in the final preview and not publishable in WordPress. I can keep my ideas in the notes right in front of me. And you know what? Uh, it is uh, too much and I need to cut some of it. Article is where my final copy goes. Trimming the content is an essential exercise and it makes your content better. Go into the article block and hit delete. It will remove the complete block. If just in case you want to save the block for the future reference, you can do that easily by saving it to versions. Even if this original block was deleted from your content, the version saved in the assets of the article can be retrieved and restored at any time. Versions are simply backups of the blocks. In this video, we focused on the outline and its benefits. To finalize it, the outline of the article is like a glue that holds everything together. It not only gives you an overview of the article, it also allows you to search, filter, and converts automatically into a table of contents. Also, it allows you to filter and zoom in on specific blocks of content. Now that you've seen this, try it out. Go to Blogly, and if you did not use the Blogly yet, sign up for an account, it's totally free. Try out using the blocks for an outline for the next piece of content you create. And remember, that you are not supposed to create the perfect outline from the start. You can always expand it during the process. Make sure that you create some notes, add new blocks, move them around, delete stuff, change stuff. And after just a bit of work, once you get used to that, you will have a really crisp outline for what you are going to talk about. So this is it. Go check out the Blogly, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Leave the comment below and let me know your thoughts and questions.